Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, we're uh, we just kind of started disking the soybean stubble here, and uh, we started out with the 700 on it, but it's still having uh, a little bit of engine issues. I remember this spring when it was on the elevator, it was trying to overheat all the time. While well, I tried uh, some bars leak in it and rad seal just. Didn't last ditch hopes that it would be able to seal it up but it didn't work so the old 1086 is on or no Doing a pretty damn good job, honestly. <laughs> We're disking it here this fall, because last year when I had soybeans, we just chopped it. Left, well you see it's got some fairly long strands there yet. Ted just chopped it and left it like that. Well, when I came to seed this spring, there was just so much trash on top of the ground, I couldn't pull the cedar through it. I mean, if you remember that or not, I had raked it up and burnt it to actually get the uh, cedar to be able to pull through it. So this year we're gonna try the disc and just uh, go like an inch and a half or two inches at the most there deep. Just to kinda mix it in with the soil on top and it's working pretty good actually and slicing it up too so I think it should work. But, I'll get some nice angles for you, him, him going by, and then uh, I'm gonna go do some uh, elevating, finish the pea stubble hopefully, and maybe get it moved over to the north section where the wheat was that we've got combined, where we started wheat there this year. And I wanna elevate it, there's a lot of rocks there, so I'm gonna use the big shovels and try and get a bunch of the rocks up on top so that we can pick them. And then it won't be as big of an issue when we're seeding next year that way, so. Anyway, I'll talk to you again here in a little bit. I apologize if there's wind noise in the background. It's like a hurricane out here today, so. Anyway, there's the old 1086 for you. Well, one of them. There is another one too, but it's not near as pretty as this one. <laughs> oh, 
I'll do some big tractor power narration here for you, sorta. <laughs> it's a 1981. It's 130 horsepower, that tractor. And that is a uh, 20 foot easy on uh, media or heavy field disc. It's not like a braking disc, but it's not just a black dirt disc either. It's heavier than most, so. But uh, working pretty damn good. I've got 20.838 duels on the back that I got from our, we used to have a 1466, but it, uh, its motor piled up in it and the transmission was toast and just a worn out old piece of crap that wasn't worth fixing. So we parted it out and I've got transmission parts from it in this and the back tires and a few other odds and ends. But uh, this tractor here, I bought a 970 was the very first tractor I ever bought. And it was for a hay bind that I had. That's just like the one we have again here now, but it didn't have enough hydraulic power to lift the hay bind and swing it, so I traded it off on this tractor. That has been fucking near seven years ago now. And yeah, I repainted it. It's got a new seat in it, new radio, all the air conditioning systems rebuilt. It's got a TA delete kit in it, so it has no more TA, thank the good Christ. One less issue to have. And then it's got 540 and 1000 PTO and it's got three remotes on the back for hydraulics. So if you want to pull your air seater, there you go. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's uh, all I've got to really say about it. I know there have been a few people asking me to do a walk around, but I don't have time to walk around it here today and I will probably be renting it in the near future. So you can get an operator's perspective of it that way so anyway i hope you liked the video you hit that like button and subscribe for more we'll talk to you guys here in the next one